Okay. Everybody! 
you. Come and pass for us. Come and pass for us. Ika po vampeya. Kapesa mi para po sa. Ika po. Yeah. 
shadows, under the shadows, under the shadows. No, no, no. And now the other court, or are you at the secret place? Takapa, pampa, takapa, pampa, takapa, takapa, takapa,
we wait. By the rivers we wait. We wait. We wait to see our first time. Say that in that last day, that grace of the feet that Jesus stood and cried, That whosoever is thirsty, that he should come and drink. Jesus said that is whosoever that is thirsty. That means that at the last day of the feast, that there were men that were satisfied with their current state, they were satisfied with their current state. But Jesus was speaking to them that is hungry, then that is thirsty, then that are not satisfied with their current state. These are the men that Jesus is seeking, not men that are satisfied. I know that many of you were satisfied with yesterday's dimension. But I tell you, there is a greater measure. If you travel, that I am just in the spirits. You might see something and call it great, but God is telling you, he's an appetizer for you to come up. John was in the spirit on the last day. I thought John was in the spirit. You know, God should start revealing things to him. But the Bible said that Jesus told him to come up with that. There is a plan where your prophecy is lying. There is a place where your ordination is hanging. There is a place where your destiny is hanging. You need to come up with I'm trying to tell you, you need a longer to trap God. A man that is not hungry in the spirit cannot trap anything in God. God will assume that you are satisfied, that you don't need more. There is another nature. Stop this time of prayer. Change the sound totally. God will assume that you are satisfied. Photo God is looking for hungry men and hungry women who are ready to trap I just need 50 of them from you. 50 person is enough to turn the world upside down. You read on board them. One man retained the capacity to turn their world upside down. Paul and Silas, when they arrested them, they, they subscribed to the ministry of prayers. That was how they dragged down the Holy Ghost. You, call, you can't call down eternity except you have prayed. You cannot break out your mind that it's in the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. If you're not violent enough, God will come and pass you by. That thing you're seeking, many people are seeking for it. You need to be violent in the spirit. Many of you are still calculating the way you're praying. Let me not, so I will not pray like this so that this person will not be looking. Who cares the way you're praying? What your focus should be upon is upon your destiny. You don't go spend you. Spend.
I'm giving you another five minutes to become violent and angry in your spirits against your current state. Let me tell you, whatever God is going to release today is on an energy level. If you don't come up to that energy level, you cannot receive anything. That is why you are praying. You need to mount up so that you can be able to carry what God wants to release. You need to mount up. I need 50 persons. If you are ready, if you know you want to pray, just run to the front. Run to the front. If you know you don't mind the person beside you, tomorrow we tell men that are ready. It's not everybody God will use. God knows the men that you will use. Tomorrow they will say we came to the same meeting. But that you came to the same meeting doesn't mean you doesn't mean you will go with the same resources. He that is violence. We collect it by force. He that is violence. We carry the mantle. He that is violence. We carry the ordination. Something locked up in God. Seeking for men. Women, women that will travel. Oh, the Bible said that out of your belly, out of your belly shall flow. But you need to see that river. That is a river in you. Voodoo, that is a river. And we need to see it up. That is a river. Yes, I can see serious men. Yes. You still have an opportunity to come and join them and travel. Your family is waiting. Your nation is waiting. Your campus is waiting. The world is waiting. You can't be casual. You can't come all the way from where you're coming from. I will miss us. I refuse. I refuse. Drag me into my ordination, oh God. Die. Well, let's pray.
You can do better. He said, call him. Holy Ghost, I'm here. Give me your hunger. I blessed is he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for he shall be filled. Then that are hungry needs to be filled. Holy Ghost, I'm not satisfied. Can you feel me? Holy Ghost, please. I'm not satisfied. <laughs> You said this red cry. Jesus in the name of Jesus you're going to ask God to baptize you with strange hunger hunger that can trap and tempt you tempt your realm you can't do it far without hunger that is the cause of your prayerlessness it's hunger that fuels your prayer a man that carries burden does not stop praying because that body will keep you down. Hunger needs to rest upon you so that you can become another man. You can't be normal in this generation. I'm giving another 20 persons opportunity to run to the front. I'm giving another 20 persons run to the front because you don't know when God will meet you, you don't know. You need to come where there is focus. There is an attention of energy. Sinage. Don't look at the person that is not praying. Don't look at that person. You know that your destiny is not the same with that person. You know. Many of you, your destiny is too great for you to be casual. Everybody that's is not the same. You're looking at the person that is carrying small mantle. And you want to pray like that person. You don't know. He that has a great mantle have to travel. Increase my eyes. 
in the spirits increase my heart in the spirits carry me to a realm yonder to a place where I have never been before to a place where I, know I can interact with the angels warrior beings and tanakos do you know how much you need to travel If you are at the front, hold your hands together. Everybody, hold your hands, hold your hands. Make sure your hands is connected to someone. There is a great energy descending. The amount of angels, the number of angels here is greater than the number of men. Angels of prayer are descending. I can feel them. Oh! 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 You could call my bloom. Angels of prayer. We have appeared again. We have appeared before the internal coast, before the living coast. We are going to walk on the coast of heaven. Partner with the angels. You could call my blue more angels of prayer. Ay, ay. Come and so prayers, they are descending. If you are attentive in the spirits, you will know that we have shifted. We have shifted. I shift with the spirits. I move with the spirits. Young men shift, shifts. All your shift, Holy Ghost shift men that are ready. All your shift them. Let's join, let's join. You see an opportunity to run to the front. Eagles will fly. Lions will run. That is your revival coming. I number myself. I number myself. Holy Come on. 
Holy Ghost will touch me. If I get a little more, if Holy Ghost will touch me, let me strive, let me strive. Jesus, I want to show you something in the scripture in Isaiah chapter 40. I'll read from verse 29. If you are with me, sir, I can't hear you. If you are with me, sir, that is too poor. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. Let me read from 30 years so that you understand the scripture well. Has thou not known? They're asking you a question. Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, nor is thee weary? There is no searching of his understanding. Look at verse 29. He gave him power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. What the Bible is trying to tell you, there is a tendency for a man to faint, even in the place of prayer. It was Jesus said that if a man is not praying, he's fainting. It is your responsibility to pray. But when you are not praying, it means you are fainting. Isaiah said that a man that is fainting needs power. And it is God that increases the strength of a man that fainted. But God cannot increase your strength. I need to show you something. If you are not doing that, you cannot pop into the realm of strength. Even Jesus understood this. A time came in his ministry. He was praying, but his physical body was weak. But he needed to push because the weight of destiny was upon him. He cried, and God released the angels of strength. When they came, they ministered to him. You need the ministrations of the angels. If you're not sensitive, you will not know that there are more angels here than human beings. Verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. This is a verdict. In the days of your youth, that is when you should have your most strength. But the Bible is trying to tell you that there is a possibility, even in your youth, through the strength, for you to faint. You see that you agree or you refuse to faint. 
because they start to say that them that wait, them that wait, them that wait. If you're not waiting the place of prayer, God will grant you strength. If you're not waiting the spirit of prayer, God will transport you to the realm of power. A man that waits don't get weary. They tell you, how can a man pray and uh, stay and be prayed for six hours? You don't know. That is a power in waiting. That is a strength to them that wait. You that pray for five minutes, you're tired after five minutes. But a man is standing for 12 hours, 24 hours, he's not tired. That is something different between you and that man. You know, he has seen something that you have not seen. Day that wait. If you wait upon the road, I say you know of strength. God will come and strength you. But you have to wait by prayer. Prayer transports you out of this natural realm. You do the place where God is domiciled. Then you begin to interact with spiritual things. You don't know how much you need to pray. Food though, God is calling us to the chambers. To the chambers of his secret place. There is a wind. There is a cord, there is a mantle. Things are hanging. Who will bear that coordination if we don't travel? Who will bear that mantle if we don't cry? Who will carry that mantle, that destiny? Jesus said, Jeremiah said that we should call upon the name of God and he will answer and show us great and mighty things. There are great and mighty things we don't know until we cry. You don't know yourself until you pray. You don't know. You don't know your reality, your true identity. You think this is your real self until you pray. Jesus had to pray before the fashion of his countenance was altered. Then Peter, James, and John, they knew that this man is the Son of God. He's not just Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's the Son of God. You don't know yourself. That's why you need to pray, oh man. We need to travel, crack our soul, crack it. Tear it like the alabaster bus. Until the oil begin to flow. Until the oil begin to flow. There are oil that is condensed. Such oil they are cooked in the finance of heaven. They are cooked in the furnace. They are not normal oil. They are cooked by the act of the apothecary. I need men. I need men and women who are ready for the matters of destiny to cry out in the finest five minutes. For the next five minutes, strength to me. Man to me with your strength. 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 And just of strength. And just, and just. Man to me with your strength. Come, come, and just. To the north pole, to the east gates. To the south pole, to the north gates. To the east gate, to the west gates. Drag men out of their resting place. And bring them to the place of making. Drag men out of their resting place. And bring them to the place of body. Drag men to their resting place. Drag them, drag them out and bring them to the place of hunger. Man to man, we conquer. Man to man, we conquer. The days have come when we pray and travel. Oh, 
seven times there will be a crack on this territory there is a convergence going on in the spirit God is converging man with destiny I wish that none of us will miss out I wish but it's possible that someone will come to this meeting and still miss out but I don't want to be that man I came here to be carried by the Holy Ghost. I'm not the one leading. I'm not, I didn't come here to lead in prayer. I am crying for my life. I know there is more. The journey is great and it's far. If I show up number one, I want Jesus to echo. It was the shout and the trumpet that sank the wall of Jericho. Your voice is having part. Upon the natural consolations, he also journeys to the heavens. He's an incense. Your prayers are sensed like an incense. David said that the lifting up of his hand is an evening appellation, it's an evening sacrifice. Blessed be the God of David that teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Many of you, after this meeting, you're going to imagine as a warrior. But you don't know how much you need to pray. Warriors need to prepare themselves because the battle will be hot. If you know that the battle that you are about to fight is hot, you will know how much you need to prepare yourself. You don't know how much you need to pray. That's why you're praying the way you're praying. Jesus needs to drag you to a river. There is a pool in Bethsaida. That 
pool does not have the capacity to heal except he's steered once he's steered the first man to enter that river <laughs> the violent will take you by force so. <laughs> friends are you going to be more violent only the violent can take you by force that throne that you're seeking there are 40 persons that God has also told about that throne but it's just one person that needs to ascend it I want to be that man but it's not by mouth it's by bending down and crying and traveling Sharing your second prayer irrespective of the pains and circumstances you know everything lies on the body and the shoulder of a man that can pay and travel stop complaining and bend down and pray stop complaining put yourself to the finance of prayer the result your sickness will come out number one food will come near you be angry your spirit that your voice is a weapon use it it's a weapon in the oh Jesus I feel the angels oh I'm a suma I'm a mahuma Number two. Be serious. The angels that are here that are more serious. They can carry you now. Oh, number three. Come to see eternity. The forces of the angelic beings. Oh. Ah! Only one of me can It's a fire, it's a fire, uncle. Uncle Mons, uncle. Uncle. Oh, there's a fire. The shadows of eternity. Number four. You're coming up, you're coming up. You're coming up. <laughs> Number four.
for the Holy Ghost. I need you to shake my delicate parents. The day that the name of Jacob was changed, God had to touch him. He shifted him. Oh. If I shout number one, you shout and you fire. Are you ready? Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? You join us again on the third one. No! doesn't mean anything. You don't know. You don't know. Oh, come on, so you have to go. I can see smokes everywhere. Heavenly clouds. No, not you. Complaining is because you don't have fire. Demons cannot oppress you, even as a Christian, if you're fireless. No man can mess you around if you are not if you have fire. You're not alone in this world, though. There are demon girls, there are demon boys. How do you want to survive in this world without fire? You will not live here the same. Holy Ghost, no one will live here the same. If you come here fireless, that is a baptism. But you need to travel. No more truth. Oh, you cry. Cry, cry. Oh. Dark me there.
this hand And has given us a victory That's why we'll sing Oh, share yeah Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan And has given us a victory That's why we'll sing Oh, share yeah Oh, say yeah Oh, say yeah
I know I can be made home, Jesus. in the river find yourself in the river it's real it's real we are not faking it except you want to fake it not me you need to know the person you have come to seek Lift it 
it, lift it like an incense. Lift it, lift it high. Jesus Christ. Who is he? Don't 
Oh, sit in our midst, oh God. Oh, ancient. 
is flowing everywhere. Ah. Whosoever ah. drinks shall never ever thirst again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drinks shall never ever thirst again. The fountain of life. He's flowing in us. Whosoever drinks shall never ever thirst again. The fountain of life is flowing in us. Whosoever drinks shall never ever thirst again. The fountain of life. Is fluid everywhere. Whosoever drinks. Jesus. Lift your hands and worship Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. our hands and give God all the praise. Worship is not a song. Worship is obedience. Come on. Just lift your voice and give him honor. Jesus, thank you. We've come to draw, draw, draw. Come on, draw, 
It's your voice. Oh, you give me 
hollow out beyond it. We cry of a father. Yes, God. Hollow out beyond it. Hollow out beyond it. Hollow out beyond it. Amen. Thank you so much. Can we celebrate our dear brother Moses Ako? God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. If you are blessed so far, why not why not lift up your hands and say thank you, Jesus? Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say it as if you mean it. Not just because I said it. Say thank you, Jesus. Appreciation is like an application for more. Gratitude is an application for more. It's like an application for more. In Jesus' name, just keep up the sound. I want us to pray maybe for two minutes. But I want to celebrate every man of God that is here. Pastor King Gano CK is here. And uh, my brother, brother Ihuama is here. Then Pastor Sam is here. Especially, I want to celebrate um, the Student Union Government. The SUG president is here. Am I correct? Am I correct? God bless you so much. And all the student fellowship leaders and JCCA president and every single person that is here. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We are here because of you. It is not convenient for us to be here, but... Um, the burden of the Lord was much and we have to come and deliver. You will not believe it, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> have you seen a man pregnant before? Mm. A man with burden is pregnant. As he's moving on the road, there is nothing you are telling him that he will hear until he delivers. When a generation sees a child that is born, they are happy and they praise God. But they will not follow you to the place of travail. In that place, it's only you and your Savior. It's only you and your God. It's only you and your maker. The one that called you. Some of the time, you don't even understand the extent of your call. But you know in your little way, something is burning there. The scripture asks the question. He said, can a nation be born in a day? Thank God for the wombs of groaning and travail. If not, there will be trouble. I believe, I believe that the labors of Jesus, the greatest pain he passed through, was not even on the cross as you think. Because there are many people that have been crucified on the cross. It was at Gethsemane, my brother. It was at Gethsemane. The scripture recording it in the book of Hebrews. He said that he raised a strong cry to him that is able to save him. Thank God he was heard. It was in that prayer meeting he called the mighty apostles. Ranking men. He called Peter, James and John. He said join me in this prayer. He said I'm, I'm sorrowful unto death. Will you join me in prayer? Guess what happened? Peter slept. James slept. John slept. In the day that he matters the most, even the people that God should use, they slept. They didn't take it serious. You think he's spiritual. You think he's sleeping physically. You slept. You are not aware when God moved. The greatest burden of God has come upon the territory and there are no wombs to carry it. I, I have vowed with my life, even if it is However long I live on this earth, I will, not, I, I will not be normal. There is something cooking in your destiny. You might be too young to know it. But only if you can pray. Lord, I ask you this night. Even if it is 10 people only. Even if it is just 20. Let heaven descend in a way that we shake the land we the whole campus and the land of where we vibrate 
heavily, heavily, heavily. You will feel it. God told me if you will pray, he will come. If you will pray, he will come. You know what you are going to do? <laughs> I feel something vibrating inside of me. It's like a ray. It's like somebody that, you know, basketball, you know, the way you bounce. That's how I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing. By the Holy Ghost, I'm bouncing. <laughs> I'm bouncing. If, even if you don't know how to pray, you have not done this before. That's not important. I have prayed so that you, this today, you can pray. I'm telling you, you can pray can pray. There's nothing you can pray. Just hold the hands of your neighbor. Hold the hands of your neighbor. Are you ready now? The prayer is simple. Open up my womb. I need to keep it on my destiny. This night. We are the midwives of heaven. We ask that you step foot on the land of Puto. Let the hand of God come so heavy and mightily. Let it from the ground back by the hand of God. I cry. Pray to the king. Kayata to I'm 
not hearing you. Shout it like you mean it. That's how blind Bartimaeus got to where he was. They even told him, shut up your mouth. He refused. If you will persist, God will meet you. Holy Ghost baptize me afresh let's say it again Holy Ghost baptize me afresh we need to say one more time and pray for one minute get ready get ready if your neighbor is not serious, you find another neighbor. Some people will never be serious in this life. Even if Jesus is their roommate, they will not take it serious. Some people in this campus is waiting for Jesus to appear for, to them physically. It will never happen. It was the Bible said, the rich man died and went to heaven. When he went there, he said, send, send this man to my brother so that they will not perish. He said, even if we send somebody from here, they will not hear. Something is wrong with their ears. God came to Futo and some people didn't take it serious. It will take you another 10 years to realize what you have done to yourself. I know there are some people here that is taking this thing serious. Self tell me the third time. Self tell me, Holy Ghost! No, 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 no. This shop, you need to be better. Express your hunger. Express your hunger. Show it to God. Show it, show it. Serve to me, Holy Ghost. Baptize me afresh. Pray for the next one minute. Cry out. Cry out. Cry out. There is a sister over there. She is serious. She is serious. There is a sister. Oh Come and sit. Come and sit. There is somebody that is in his hostel. His friend is convincing him not to be on this ground, but he knows in his heart he should be here. Won't tell you if you are careless. Leave that your friend and run out to here. Destiny. There is no friendship in destiny, my friend. You touch things as you desire. That your friend might have second opportunity. You will not have it. I say I heard clear. Your friend told you, he's telling you, he's telling you, you are hearing it. He has reasons why you should not be here. But God said that this is for you. There is something God meant for you. If you hear the cry, the Bible said in the book of Hebrews, that there were people that heard the cry, the prince, and they did not hear. He said they were all, they died in the wilderness, all of them. What's the problem? They did not hit the wall. Help those people under encounter. I see fire. I see pockets of fire like hanging in the atmosphere. My God. Listen. in wombs. No wombs, no revival. Revival are better from the wombs of travail. I read a book many years ago while I was in campus. 
Leonard Ravenhill, why revival tarries? I was on the mountain for five days. I was in the University of Nigeria. So I was on the mountain, Vet Mountain. You know the place. I was fasting. And, and then I saw a line in that book. He said, Revival tarries because there is there are no tears. He said, The prayer that a revivalist must pray is God bless me with tears. I said, What is this? What is this? I thought if you cry, you are you are not a man. <laughs> If you cry, you are not a man. He said, bless me with tears. Bless me. Bless me. He said, bless me. He said, cry. Bless me with tears. My eye is too dry to draw down the avalanche of heaven. My eyes are too dry. Bless me with tears. Bless me with weeping, sweeping, tears, tears. There are several people that want God to come. Want God to use them. Their eyes are too dry. You need to ask God to bless you with what? Tears. Bless me with tears. You say revive at Paris because there are so many organizers and there are no agonizers. Organization without agonizing is equal to nothing. It takes agonizing from the rooms of groanings for things to be better, for destinies to emerge, for God to descend from heaven. He comes with chariots of fire. He comes as a great one. He comes with fire in his hands and his sword in his right hand. He comes, he comes. Fuko, he comes. I see him, I see him. I refuse. I refuse. There is a day for every man. There is a day orchestrated. There is a day planned by heaven. I must be there. Who is it? My eyes will be open. Oh my God. Elisha. Elijah told Elisha. He said, if you will see me when I'm caught up, your eyes need to be open. You, you need to agree. You need to, oh my God. You need to see. And then when you see, you drop down. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, let me tell you something. I hope you know. I hope you know it's not fellowship president that will be the leaders in the society and even in the body of Christ tomorrow. Fellowship executive, that is nothing. From my own experience, and I've been around campuses for about 10 years now. And I tell you one thing. Many of them are too proud, poofed up by their position. That they thought the position is a representation of their status and rank in the spirit. Once their position is taken away, they become like mere men. Nothing that they have. You need to cry. Oh. There is more honors on you. You need to cry more if you are a fellowship executive. Because Satan has marked you out. To make a mess of what you did in campus so that if people see you in the oh. God send me here he sent me to go ahead of you and make sure that the things that we draw you away from God is being dealt with now there is something God wants to weave there is something he wants to concord there is something he wants to impact and there is a place he wants to bring you there, there is a place when a man gets there he can't go down he can't your hunger can't go down. That is a baptism of hunger that cannot die. Even if you find yourself in an oil company, it doesn't make the difference. So after me, Lord, give me a hunger for you that can't die. You don't mean it, oh. I think a few people they meant it. My God, hear the cry. God, I ask you, don't overlook a young don't overlook somebody here that cries from his or her heart. So tell me again, Lord, give me a hunger for you that can die. Suffer me hunger, hunger, hunger. 
You can't do anything without hunger. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Anything you are doing without hunger will finally end up in religious routines. If you fast without hunger, it can't draw you to God. If you pray without hunger, it can't draw you to God. You will just carry a badge that I pray for three hours. Maybe there is a place. Who is in photo here? Who is a former? Who is a photo alumni? I need one. Where do they pray? People normally gather and pray. What is it called? Huh? Prayer garden. Oh, you have prayer garden. You will notice that if you go to prayer garden, there are people that normally do show. They like people to know that they are the, their badge. You know what the Bible said? For people to read them as if they have prayed. Not to touch God. Not to carry things. There is no hunger power in it. There is no potent. There is no desire. There is no intent to, to monopolize God. You can monopolize God. Put him in one place. It's like you put him in a cup. And then you drink him out. So when people. As soon as people say. Hey this guy can pray. Then they are now praying like this. They are now. They are dry like dry fish. Demons of addiction is feasting on them. They are doing like this, doing as if they are praying. But pornography and addiction is wiping them out. They are still cheating in class. Demons feast on them in the night. Sometimes they are sleeping. They see somebody call them, they see themselves in a shrine. Brother, you need something. You have to admit. You have to admit. You are too weak to carry that your calling. You need something listen to me I was on campus I cried to God I said give me hunger or I die there is a hunger that if they give you what are you doing with that hunger it is hunger that pulls you, draws you. It's hunger. It's hunger that makes you to tarry. Makes you to stay the hunger. But it's hunger. I said, God, remove everything that is inside of me. Let me with hunger and body. Make me a sign to my generation. Sign of hunger and body. Hunger. Ceaseless hunger. Body. Ceaseless hunger. Let me a sign. Feed me hunger. Oh my God. Listen to me. God must do something to you. You know why? You are the plan that heaven has. If sufficient investment doesn't come from heaven, if sufficient dealings doesn't come from heaven, we are in we are in trouble you are that plan that heaven has you are the plan hey! my prayer I, I, I was praying I was in pain I was praying I said Lord don't allow don't allow destinies to die in the wombs of men because they are too lazy to give birth don't allow callings and anointings don't allow seasons don't allow mantles to die because men are too weak to pay the price it takes to throw it down. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Listen to me. Listen. I know some of you will be saying, <laughs> I know some of you will be saying, eh, I'm a student apostle. I don't know how, how many years he has done this thing, you know. I don't, listen to me. Listen to me. I was on campus when God began to use me mighty. I was on campus. Praying and fasting, justice. Those days, I will, as people are, by 2 a.m., I'm going to Montenegro court to pray in the night. I will start praying by 2 a.m. and come back by 8 in the morning. I will take my bath and go to class. I say, Lord, there must be something you will do to me. I don't want to leave this school with just certificates. God for university certificate, but I, I, need, I need the certificate with one hand and God in one hand. The easiest place to touch God is in campus. Some of you don't know. I know some of you are saying, eh, 
Uh, foot will have stayed too long. Left foot will release me. I beg. I need to go. Go where? This Nigeria. Go where? Uh, you better touch God in this. You better grab God. I don't know how to say. You better monopolize God. You better hold him. Hey, you know what Jacob did now? The angel said, allow me to go. He said, I can't do that. You have not settled me. You want to go. Go where? I want to ask your neighbor, have God settled you? Have God settled you? Ask, ask your neighbor, ask your neighbor, don't look at his face. Ask your neighbor, have God settled you? Why are you allowing God to go? <laughs> do something, Pastor Samuel. Until you do something, there must be something. Lift up your voice and cry.
is flowing, is flowing, is flowing, is flowing. There are seven sisters amongst us. The Lord wants to give you the wombs of travail. Well, as many people as their heart is open, there will be an overflow. Seven sisters amongst us. Seven of them. Seven. Seven. All over this field, I ask you, Holy Ghost, at the count of three, let your hand come upon them and let them become another person. Seven sisters. Seven. One, two, three. Find them. Holy Ghost. Yes, that's it. That's it. Fire! It's opening rooms. 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 Bring them for me. Let me put my hands on them. From today, we consecrate you. From today, God will begin to, even if you don't have experience, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is to yield to the Holy Ghost. It's moving on. It's moving on. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Fire. Fire. Up. 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 Aha. Help that sister. Whether you are not sure or not, help them. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. It's rising, it's rising, it's rising, it's rising. It's flowing, it's flowing. All over Futo, it flows. All over Owen, all over Imo State. It's flowing, it's flowing. Sister, you can feel it. Oh my God. Put your hands on them. Holy Ghost, put your hands. 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 Stop. 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 Holy Ghost. He's flowing. Bring the sister for me. Oh. 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 There is a sister. Your own is coming. It's very wide, wide, like fire, like fire, like fire. Oh my God. Pataki kupata makapo. He's flowing, he's flowing, he's flowing, he's
From my waist to my shoulders, till your spirit overwhelms me. From my ankle to my knees, from my knees to my waist, from my waist to my shoulders, till your spirit overwhelms me. From your ankle to your knees, from your knees to your waist, from your waist to your shoulders, till your spirit. Another match. Oh, Holy Ghost. Another measure. Look at that sister. The hand of God is coming on her. Look at that sister. Look at that sister. Look at that sister. Look at that sister. Help her. Where is Elosha? to happen here now if I say one you shout Jesus wherever you are seated that the angels will just move immediately once we say this thing it's like a command they will just move are you ready one hey you have to do better they will move mightily not just here they will move on your behalf to your family if there are cases around you like this the moment the angels are ready I see them they are waiting Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just move now. Move, 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 move. Jesus said, listen, you can be seated. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. This is Luke chapter 4 verse 1. You will realize something about Jesus. He was not just set forth for us. Read this a little. Jesus was not just set forth for us as our Savior and our Messiah. He was also set forth as a pattern man. What does he mean? It means that Jesus was set forth as man. The scripture said that in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And by the time he finished his ministry, he began to make a kind of prayer that was strange in the book of John chapter 17. 
He said, Father, give me the glory that I had with you from the beginning. He said, yeah, there is a glory that you gave me when I was in this world. But there is another glory that made me equal with you. So in the context of his humanity, Jesus is a pattern man. He is such a person that lived the way every person that wants to live according to God's purpose for his life will have to live. The scripture said that the disciple cannot be greater than the master. What does it mean? It means that Jesus is the master. He lived an example for us. That's how we should live. So the Bible said here in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 1. He said, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Man of God. Jesus being, being full. Like being full. I don't know what is the capacity of him as a person. <laughs> I don't know the kind of tank that he carries in his person. But the Bible said that he was what? Full. Praise God. What's your tank in the spirit? Don't answer me because your people are here. You are not honorable in this campus. But praise though, in destiny, you need a tank. <laughs> tank! A brother was praying in the spirit. Praying, 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 praying. The Lord opened his eyes and he saw himself. He was, he was a cup of water, a cup like this. Any small thing you pour, he becomes full. Any small thing you pour, he becomes full. Any small thing you pour, he becomes full. He now went back to his family. And said, and then shouted and took charge of all the powers that has lasted for the strong and addiction. That's the problem of many people. Their tank is little, and they are trying to engage things that is heavy in the spirit. You need to come to a place where God expands your tank in the spirit, makes you heavy. Do you know how many years you hear Jesus being full? What does it mean? I'm drunk. And a keg in drank Jesus, he didn't finish. Smith Wiggles were drank, he didn't finish. Charles Finney drank him, he didn't finish. He came to us here, he, he's here in Futuna. He's saying, Drink me, drink me, drink me, I won't finish. You know why? The Bible said, Jesus, he been full. So after me, Lord, you need to fill, you need to fill my tank. Oh, you need to. I'm not denying that there is something I have, but my tank is not full. <laughs> you need to fill my tank. Listen, he now said, and Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. When they were ended, he afterward hungered. And many things that you know that happened there. Show me, show me verse 14. Show me verse 14. Show me, let's run. Remember that the Bible said, Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, he was driven. He means that a man doesn't know the assurance of the accuracy of the steps that he's taking in his destiny and in the spirit until he is full. The fullness of the spirit is to lead you to the paths. Some of them the one that you don't like. How can a man be full of the spirit and where God is leading him is the wilderness? I don't understand. I need to understand this thing justice. I think if you are full of the spirit you should manifest I thought if you are full of the spirit it's now your time Jesus is full of the spirit and the Bible said in verse 1 that he was led into the wilderness I don't understand led into the wilderness led them not to go and be looking around he said he was fasting and praying Jesus was led to his wilderness as a result of being full where have you been led by God because you are full of the Holy Ghost? Have you ever been led to three days dry fasting? You have never been led. You say God wants to use you. 
Once it's, six, once it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon, your legs start shaking. If there is a day that is 6, if there is a day that is 6 o'clock and you have not eaten, your leg will be shaking. And, and you say you have been full of the Holy Ghost. Which Holy Ghost? When Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost, he led him to the wilderness to start fast. You know why he has to lead him? Because the things you are seeing around your life as a result of the movements of the Spirit in your inner man, as a result of the leadings of the Spirit, they are not the end. They are leadings to the end. And if you tread the path of the Spirit, He will make up things in your life. It is when a man takes a journey with the Holy Ghost in this mood that he suddenly realizes that he's not the kind of person that people think he was. Huh. When I entered campus, on the level, I was, I was in a gathering of believers. So, those days, I don't know if they do it in this campus. They have what is called first year fellowship. First year, on the level, first, do they do such things in this campus? Do they do it? First year fellowship. So in that first year fellowship, they said that ah, we will add drama on our first year day. You know such things. When they were giving, <laughs> I pray for you. If you do not emerge by the hand of the Holy Ghost, men will identify you as a caricature of what God ordained you to be. I know for you it doesn't mean anything. But for me it meant a lot because such a thing has happened to me before somewhere in my life. They called me. They said, in this drama, we need to act. Uh, Brother Moses, they said, I should ask Satan. That I should act Satan. <laughs> I want to ask, in your children drama team, does a fair person ask Satan? Answer me now. Does a fair person ask Satan? It's normally dark with people that at least as dark as our... I don't want to use our SUG president now. But people dark, people dark. Huh? <laughs> people that they are the one people that like you miracle you are dark you are black they looked at me fair very young lanky it's not as if i'm big so that you say i, I can't even do oh i don't have i don't have horn i i am fair in complexion everything they, they looked at me they spoke the darkness hanging over my destiny that has not been lifted they looked at you and said, you are Satan, you are Satan. <laughs> That's how people have been identifying you. Meanwhile, you are supposed to be an apostle to your generation. You are, you are supposed to be the future governor of this state. They look at you, they, they mock you. But when you sleep, you see things that you can't even discuss with anybody. They will say that you are proud. If they begin to rate the people that God will use, when will they count you? They can't count you. There are men. Those days we are in campus. Justice, you know. You are one of them. You are one of them. Those days in campus, you are one of the powerful brothers. Ah. You are one of the powerful brothers. You know those brothers. I'm, I'm not against them. They will put their... They will put their belts here. And they will be walking... They, they don't walk quietly. They normally always walk brisk, briskly. They, they will just be walking like this. If you greet them, they'll say, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Because if, if they ever stop to greet you, the anointing will finish. I waited 10 years later, 5 years later, I didn't see those brothers again. No. Some of them have gone down to Egypt. They have gone down to Babylon has bought them. Meanwhile, those ones that we did not know that they are them, Jesus took them, they, they, were, they entered the wilderness. The Holy Ghost led them. Because there is a season coming. And you are the equipment. You are the weapon. They serve, you are like Moses. And God has ordained. That if his people will be delivered. That this one need to be cooked. He need to be taken out of sight. He need to be ruined. He need to be chiseled. He need to be cooked in the bonfire of the spirit. Until he is done. And that's one of the prayers you are going to pray this night. Instead of me to come out on dawn, Lord, take me in and cook me more. Huh. Have you eaten yam before, my brother? Have you eaten yam before? Have you cooked yam before by yourself? White yam. 
How long does it take white yam to be done? How many minutes on the average? 20 minutes. 15 minutes. Imagine somebody cooking yam for 5 minutes. What will happen to that yam, presto? You can't keep the yam anymore. Is it not true? And you can't also eat it. Is it not true? At this stage now, it's useless. That's the state that many of you are in. You have already followed God a little that you can't go back. And if you don't press harder, you will not be done enough for God to use you. So you are not in the war. You are not out. And you are not full length. You are somewhere in the middle. Do you know the problem with these kind of people? If they stay there long enough, they will block the road for people that will pass there. Anybody that is, they will discourage the person, block, and they will yap you, warn you, do all manner of things. Do you know why? They are not there. If you don't want to be ashamed tomorrow, labor into your destiny now. Cry. Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost that will drive me to the place that I will pay the price of my destiny. Because I see men rising from this place. I see men. I see army. An army. For now, you might not know them. Some of you, you know them. But the day will come when they emerge, they will be like the Ezekiel army. Full of strength. Full of power. It doesn't matter what God called you to do. I heard some people, eh, they come and say, eh, I don't need to pray like this. Me, I'm, I'm a politician. Eh, I'm not, I'm, we, we are in the uh, business. I'm called to be a kingdom financier. A man of God, pray for me so that I, you don't know what they are saying. You, know? you need more power in politics than you need in church. I can tell you free of charge. You need more power in politics. You know why? In church, your members already know you. Sometimes, even if you are not strong, you can tell one person to be leading worship and you just preach and go. The day you are not prepared and enter your office in politics, that's the day that they will finish you off. Everybody comes charged and prepared. You don't know what it takes. Look at the scripture, verse 14. Wherever you are, do you have your Bible open before you? If you have your Bible open, say amen. Hey, open your Bible. I need more people. Like, I need a few more people to join us. If your Bible is open now, shout amen. Luke chapter 4, verse 14. That's where we are. Luke chapter 4, verse 14. Luke chapter 4. That is a time that you what? Return. Woe to a man that comes on the day of his returning and comes back empty handed. When God hides a man, it is for a reason. Justice. When God cooks a man, it is for a reason. When God puts his hand upon a man, it is for a reason. There is a generation that will die, that will be lost if you don't imagine. Just imagine if you are like me and when I was in campus like you, I was busy chasing girls and hanging around. Not pursuing God, not being serious. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then a day like this appeared. I don't know, probably God will find another person. But you don't know. You never know. Because it takes God time to make a certain kind of man. That's why I'm trying to tell you people here in campus. The best time to find God like this is when you are in campus. Because I need to tell you, no matter how fast God wants to cook you, He has to cook you. I don't want to call years. I don't want to call years, but it will take minimum of 10 years. Old. If not, your yam no go down. If person shop you, he go have it will, he will have running stomach. Yes. Before you even master how to pray, master how to so master how to do a lot, it takes you time. You go, let's assume God allows you to go to a Bible school or whatever before you are finished. Go for you, serve you, do many things, settle down. Before you know it. Those days, I used to think 10 years is a long time. It's not a long time. Oh. It's not a long time. Papa, 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 you know when you enter 100 level? Are you a student here? Who is a student in that front row? You are at what level now, brother? Huh? Show me with your hands. 500. Is it not yesterday you entered? You are already found there now. That's how it happens. The most important is even the admission. Pa, 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 100 level. Pa, pa, 2. Pa, pa, 3. 
papa for you came out came out not cooked undone oh, the bible said that ephraim is like a cake undone you know why when the holy ghost was leading men to the wilderness where they can be made you escaped when men are appearing you appeared with them but you did not you were not cooked the way they were cooked but you came out the way they came out that day including your family we suffer because of your carelessness your negligence your wife that you will marry tomorrow listen to me brothers and sisters i know that some of you some of you is already eyeing them say you are praying lord show me who to marry and all those listen to me you know what i found out if the person you are supposed to marry before catch fire and is cooking herself and you refuse should i tell you something even if the person agrees to marry you when the person catch fire he will leave you some of these young men listen to me don't know they are doing boyfriend and girlfriend your that your great friend will catch fire he will, one day he will, she will hear me and catch fire and leave you and you'll be crying like a fool that didn't know that god called you if you leave a guy to catch fire before you they are gonna leave you look for somebody serious if you have a friend that that you two of you used to move together and you catch fire and the person refused to catch fire what will you do is it not to leave the friend jesus said i am come to put a sword between father and mother between friends between that's how there is a hunger that will come on you even your best friend can no more be your best friend if you refuse to catch the fire say after me again lord baptize me afresh something is happening i can feel it verse 15 something is happening i feel it something is happening i can feel it there's an angel of the lord moving on my right hand side moving moving on my right hand side the hand of god will touch somebody on my right hand side my god touch somebody mightily the person will cry out with a loud voice cry out with a loud voice with a loud voice with a loud voice the angel of the lord is moving He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving with a loud voice. With a loud cry. With a loud cry. Where is the person? Holy Ghost. Look at what the scripture is saying. And he taught them in their synagogues. Being glorified of all. Let's see the next verse. And he came to Nazareth where he was he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read let's see the next verse and there was delivered unto him the book say after me the book I didn't hear you say after me the book ah we are too many here let's shout it say after me the book one of the things that will happen to many of you here is that god will give you your own book the scrolls the volumes that is written about you. i keep saying this thing i'm not saying that i'm the most intelligent but at least i can spell my name if you ask me a question i can answer back in english language they called me those days and they told me you know what they told me they told me that the way you are looking that you are very quiet and uh, very gentle and handsome and very good i know i know you not believe in justice but i used to be handsome <laughs> they say you are handsome and I, I was very quiet i know you not believe it the way i'm volatile now you will say ah, this man oh hey maybe no very gentle uh, though, that way you are sitting that's why I normally sit very quiet. So they gave me a, a cancer. They say what is fitting for you is to find a job in an office and they'll be paying you. If they pay you 70,000, maybe it's Augustine that will employ me. How much will you pay me, Augustine? <laughs> so you'll be paying me maybe 70K. And then I'll be riding a car. 
I'll be riding Toyota Corolla. Or maybe I'll be riding a, whichever one. And then when I come out to, the, when I come back in Christmas, I come to the village square. And then I will hunt, pa, pa, pa. And they will say, eh, that, eh, mwah. What's your son name? Oh, you don't they call my father name? Hey. This young lady, if it's when we are in primary school, this is equal to a fight. Oh. How many of you remember those days? <laughs> if they call your father's name, it's equal to a fight. Oh, so you are calling my father's name. What's your own father's name? Huh? Huh? So they will say, ah, you now come in your village and hunt. Pa, 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 and bring down the window. They say, ah. How come we see Chichineke and And your father will be walking like this. My son. People in heaven will be weeping with tears in their eyes. And they will say another great man lost to Babylon. It will not be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray one prayer in 30 minutes as you are seated there. Say, Lord, find me. Find me in the place of my destiny i don't know i don't want to be out of alignment find me in the place of my destiny pray that prayer for 30 seconds quickly quickly the reason why you need to be making this prayer is that if god starts moving he will locate you by your prayer the request of your heart will be the basis of the work of god that is going to do in your life can you pray one minute one minute one minute cry In Jesus mighty name listen and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written verse 18 the spirit of the Lord God the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor number one he had sent me to heal the broken hearted number two to preach deliverance to the captives number three and recovering of sight to them that to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised can we read one or two more verses to preach the acceptable year of the lord one more verse and he closed the book i don't understand he opened the book read from it the content of a man's ordination when he was through what did he do to the book that's a strange thing there are many people living a close destiny the, their book has not been opened their book it has not been opened i played football a little imagine if i became a footballer is he a bad team no is that my book no I contested <laughs> praise God I know you won't believe this I contested for a political post too I contested me like this but it was a faculty level I contested the day I knew that God did not call me <laughs> sometimes if it will take God to disgrace you so that you will leave what God did not call you and enter the one he called you no problem we were contesting, you know. They said, come and present your manifesto. I hope that's what it is called. I came there and stood on the stage. Brought out my book to present my manifesto. Guess what I started doing? I was begging them and crying. And they told me, I don't want to lead you. One girl stood up and said, look at you, crying like this. 
that if it is not that we are from the same department, he will not even vote me. I say, I don't understand. I thought if I cry, people will hear me more. From that day, I knew it was when I you I don't need to tell you the outcome of the election. I lost. When I went to church, one sister that I told to pray for me to win, the sister told me that she didn't tell me that when she prayed, God told him that I will fail so that I will face my calling. That I will what? Fail to face my calling. In the same way, there are people called into politics that is hustling for Mike. Hustling, laboring for Mike. Fighting for Mike. Because of them, there is a lot of animosity, bitterness, rancor, all kinds of things in the church, in fellowships. They carry that there. Instead of taking... You know what I'm saying. They now enter fellowship and started doing politics. Politics that they should go and do as you are getting me now. That political spirit inside fellowships is a sign that some of those people are supposed to be in politics and they are hustling for fellowship president. <laughs> they now carry, they, they have their group. They don't have their group. They have, they have group in the body of Christ. Do you know it's possible in this campus for some people to have group and not come to this meeting? Is politics that person should join politics? You join one party in Nigeria, he doesn't know God. When you know God, you are more interested in what God wants to do than your party. Your party, you don't know what God is doing. You see, that person has missed his part and he's holding Bible. We should pray that he should fail in ministry so that he will go and face politics. In the same way, there are people in politics that should fail in politics so that you pay face their calling. I was one, I failed in politics. Thank God I failed on time. Is it not true? Thank God I failed on time. This thing I'm saying, I never want to say. In fact, I will not say it. But do you know that there are people that never took God serious until they had one carryover? That one carryover made them to go and fast and pray and seek God. When they sought God, they now passed the exam. So they now started praying and seeking God, not because they planned it, but because it seemed as if the more they seek God and pray, the more they pass their exam is a bait god just put a bait for them it's not about your book it's about your calling what did i say it's not about your book it's about am i against your book no many of my brothers that me and them are working together many of them are they came out with first class or very high to one we do five point grade in this school am i correct ah people four point four point one four point two four point three four point four almost first class and they are traveling and groaning for revival there is no excuse so i'm reading my book are you the first person that read your book the best people that did well in campus they found god oh. the best scientists are christians so oh. don't be deceived with all these people shouting around and saying eh, that science and christianity science do you know who is about einstein who is he how bad who is he? is he not is it not Galileo? Galileo Galilei that told them that the world is circle. They wanted to crucify him. Why? First of all, he found it in the Bible that the world is round. He now went, that's why he developed a telescope. He now went and have to research from the Bible. Is there anything the Bible told us that scientists didn't find out many thousand years later that it is true? The Bible is the most scientifically compliant book. That has ever existed and will ever exist. Is somebody clapping? Clap if you want clap. Clap, clap where? All of us clap. That sister, that guy in the middle like this, he keeping his hand on the uh, head. I'm seeing you from here. Clap, clap more, clap more. Uh huh. I'm seeing many men here. Is this how men clap? Have your masculinity been taken away? You are a uh -huh. what is happening amen there is something there is something about about men but i'm not here to talk about there is something about men they suffer a lot but you know if you're a man that's your portion anyway but that's by the way the bible said here that jesus closed the book and gave them back again there is a point i need to make here as i begin to round up the Bible said that Jesus went into the wilderness full of the Holy Ghost. But when he was coming out, he came out with what? 
I didn't hear you. He came out with what? He was led of the spirit into the wilderness. But when he was coming out, he came out with something to serve his generation. One of the proofs that a man met God is that he came out with something. What do you have in your hand? If God calls you now to serve a generation, what do you have that is enough to serve a generation? Please don't remind me of it. Forget it. Ah, your name is Chine Dusef. Ah, you are my name, Seko. Do you know? There is something you have to serve your generation. Are you in possession of it? you need to serve your generation have you collected it I like the way you are truthful huh? may God hear you sister there is something you need to serve your generation oh. there is the one I need to serve my generation but only me can serve my generation is it not true you, you have your own. The Bible said that Jesus came out. Don't worry about going in. Don't worry about the pains of sacrifice because there is a day that you will come out. You will come out and your voice will thunder and roar. Like the voice of the lion that breaks the cedars. When you come down in the heavens, things will crack. When Jesus came out, I think, I think Jesus had an encounter. I think it's in the book of John chapter 17. And when he cried, the scripture said, he said, glorify me. A voice come down from heaven. And said, I've glorified you before and I will do it again. And Jesus said, that this voice you are hearing is not for me, it's for you. And the Bible said that them that heard it, they said that it thundered like the voice of an angel. Why is your generation hearing you and you are sounding? You are saying, No, that's not how it works. You must take something, you must collect something. You must hold it. You need something. You need something. God told me to come to Futo and activate people into their calling. And you need to collect some. He told me to give people something. Are you ready? Are you ready? You need to something. When something drops on your life, eh, you now take it, enter the woods, then begin to cook it. You cook it. You cook it. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. So after me, I will not return empty-handed. Even from this meeting, you will not go back empty-handed. You, you, you will not go back empty-handed. So after me, Lord, give me some. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. A day will come. That thing will mature. I'm telling you. It will mature. A day will come. There is something God wants to do. God is looking for men that we are full of Holy Ghost. Led to the wilderness. Brought out by power. Brought out by fire. Brought out brutally. When they step out into their generation, it will be recorded that the scriptures were fulfilled. When the Bible spoke where we read he said that this is that which was spoken in the book of isaiah the prophet he said that the spirit of the lord god is upon me why because the lord has anointed me Fruit of something is cooking He's cooking. And Jesus came out in the power of the Spirit 
I see sisters coming out. Fearing the porous. The Bible said that when men escaped, that's the hand of God on you, my friend. When men escaped, that Deborah, a judge, stood. He said, a Deborah, wife of Lapidot, judge in Israel, one woman. Have you heard of Maria Woodwardetta? You have not. You need to go and find out about her. She had two marriages. 13 children, six in one. I think seven in one and six in the other. 13 children. It is recorded that there is no woman that has ever been used mightily like that. A woman like you. A woman like you. A woman. Don't use that you are a girl to give excuse. The Holy Ghost doesn't know gender. Any man that stands out, woman that decides to pay a price, God will put his hands upon that person. Jesus came out. Who is coming out? Who is coming out? Who is coming out? Who is coming out? Jesus came out in the power of the Holy Ghost. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I feel something cooking. Can you feel it? Serve to me, Jesus. Call your name and I call your name. Then add your name. Say and I add your name. We come out in the power of the Spirit. There is fire here. Lift up your hands. The few of you here, lift up your hands. is looking for men that will come at it doesn't matter your age just tell him lord will you use me i will submit to your things can you cook me till i'm born can you use this my vessel i might not be strong but i am willing i might not be experienced but i yield holy Ghost. can you use me 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 listen to me You are going to find a neighbor and hold the hands of that neighbor. Huh? Hold the hands of that. Oh. Make sure you are holding somebody's hand. We are going to cry. And the God that I serve, like a thunderbolt, will descend on this field. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Are you ready? You are going to pray. The prayer is simple. In the name of Jesus, by the mighty hand of God, by power, I come out. Prayer is simple. By power, I come out. By power, I come out. By power, by power, by power. Fire you! 
I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing this again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, we've come to see you, we've come to pray from you again, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we've come to see you, we've come to pray from you again, Emmanuel. To see you, we come to bring from you again, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, we come to see you. A hungry generation is here. They are not willing to have no financial until they have touched God in an unusual way. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we've come to see you, we've come to bring from you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we've come to see you. We've come to bring from you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. We've come to see you. We've come to bring from you. Those brothers in the middle, they want to see Jesus. Satan has held bound afflictions, sicknesses, torments, demons, witchcraft. Not just you, even your family. The mighty hand of God is setting you free now in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear your amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And even the people following us online, there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. I said the mighty hand of God is coming upon your life in the name of Jesus some of you the work of God has already advanced in your life already you are here you are not born again you have not given your life to Christ or maybe you used to but you are no more serious maybe you became a philosopher or a fornicator you are living in sin Jesus is calling you now I want you to come to the front quickly. Let me pray with you. Just come and stand here. Run. I will just count to seven and stop. 
I will just count to seven and stop. Don't waste your time. This is not the time. I want to pray with you for a while. So, this is not just this is not just come and say altar call, come into my life, come into my life. No, I want to make sure you are properly midwifed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Run, be fast. Run, run, run. You are a young man. Run. We want to hear from you again. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. More people, more people, more people. I still hear footsteps in my in the ears of my heart. I still hear footsteps. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. There is somebody here, you are hearing me, you are being part of the church. You grew up in the church, you are even in a fellowship. But you can't even remember when you actually gave your life to Christ. <laughs> you have to be sure. This is your moment. Come, come, come. We've come to see you. We've come to hear from you again. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, we've come to see you, Jesus. We've come to drink from you, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, we've come to see you. We've come to drink from you. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we've come to see you. I'm waiting for five more people. Five, five more. Come, 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 come. Emmanuel, you people that is here, lift up your hands and cry to God to show you mercy. If I notice you are not crying out to God, I will tell you to go back. There is no need. You want to fulfill all righteousness. Some of you have come out to attack her before, but you were not serious. And you know nothing happened. You know it. Uh -huh. This time around, take it serious. I am here. I will make sure that, that you are midwifed. Cry out to God. Assume that you are facing Jesus face to face. What you would have told him if you meet him, you can say it now. Prayer says, show me mercy. You can call out your sins and your weaknesses. You can tell him to forgive you today. Uh -huh. Cry out. If you need to kneel down, kneel down. If you need to stand, stand. If you need to lift your hands, lift your hands. If you want to cry, cry. You cannot be ashamed before your father. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I see the fire of God falling on you people. Keep crying, keep crying out. Once the measure is met, the fire of God will fall on you. I have something to give you. The sign that God has heard you is that His fire will fall on you. Just cry out to Him. That sister is crying out. Cry out. Don't look at your neighbor. This is not a matter of a neighbor or a friend. One on one. You need a true encounter with Jesus. You cannot be born again and be asking yourself, am I born again or not? When something heavy and true happen, you will know. So many people just join the church. Nothing serious happened to them. Help that sister. There is fire here. I see the seraphs. They are here with liquid fire to purge your life. Purge you from sins. Purge you from sinful lifestyle. Purge you from addictions. Purge you from demon possession. All kinds of things, my God. On the cross, there is blood for me, for you. Keep 
crying now. That young man has stopped. <laughs> you are not choking. No. I didn't call you here out to come and say the sinner's prayer. My target is not for you to say the sinner's prayer. My target is for you to encounter Jesus. To have a true, genuine, born again experience. On the hill, there is a cross. On the cross, there is blood for you. For you. Cry out. On the hill, there is a cross. On the cross, there is blood for you. standing before me can you lift your hands close your eyes say Jesus tonight show me mercy I'm not you you need to shout do what I'm telling you now that you are out just obey say after me Jesus show me mercy it's not strong yet some of you just come to God you are born again but you can't remember when God showed you mercy you kept struggling from one addiction to another from one you did not truly repent if you did not truly repent of your sin there is no you can't be free from it you can come into God but you are not free from the things that used to bind you before it is because you did not truly repent from it there was no time that you obtained mercy as a result of the fact that you totally repented from your evil ways and if you remember them you need to call them out I used to be a yahoo boy you need to call it out you need to call it out i used to fornicate masturbate i've gone to the native doctor i've done charm i used to be a chronic liar masturbate or pornographer whichever one so after me again jesus thou son of david show me mercy Jesus, thou son of David, show me mercy. Jesus, thou son of David, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show us mercy. Don't allow us to waste. Don't allow our destiny to be hindered and limited. Serve to me again. Jesus! The son of David! Show me mercy! We are going to say it one more time. Jesus! 
thou son of David, show me mercy. Yes, the hand of God is on you. I see the light of God beaming on many of you here. The light of heaven is beaming on you. The light of heaven. The light, the light is beaming, is beaming. Oh my God. Say after me again, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I repent of all of them as I've mentioned them. Forgive me of all of them. Cleanse me with your blood. Make me new. Cleanse me with your blood. Make me new. Let the impact and consequences of my sin and my lifestyle be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. Some of you, you did things that require, that have consequences. Did blood covenant. You did abortion. These things have consequences. The blood of Jesus needs to speak for you today. That's why you have to be thorough. You have to follow me in what I'm saying. Say, Lord, cleanse me with your blood. Blot away my sins with your blood. Tonight, I receive your mercy. I receive your life. I receive your mercy. I receive your life into my heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Self tell me, Jesus, fill me with the Holy Spirit afresh. Some of you, the Lord is telling me you have been born again, but you backslid. You are not living right. It is good you came out. It's good. It's good you didn't look at people. Lift up your hands. Self tell me, Holy Spirit come upon my life I will count to three just the keyboard I will count to three and the fire of God will descend on you I see the burning ones liquid fire will be poured here now some of you need purging you need purging there is a lot of stuff nyama, nyama, a lot of things are in your system it will take an encounter with the seraphims of heaven to purge you. The burning ones, they are here. At the count of three. At the count of three. The fire will begin to purge you. The fire will begin to make you new. The fire will begin to encounter you. The fire will begin to baptize you. You will be a great person after today. Both in life, in your destiny, in your academics, spiritually. One, two, three. Father, I ask. Let your fire, the pony ones, push them with your fire, push them, baptize them, push them, baptize them, push them, baptize them from my left to my right, from my left to my right. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. The pony ones are here, you can feel the fire burning on you now. They're pushing you, Lord. Push that one of pornography of addiction, push him, push him now. Jesus, some of you, there are demons that are feasting on you. Those demons are living now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them by fire, lose them by fire, lose them by fire. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. He's descending. Pay attention, don't look around for me. Fire is coming, he's still coming, he's still coming. Is he coming? Is he coming? Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. The sun. The hand of God is coming on three sisters now. The Lord is purifying your vessel. He wants to use you. He's purging your vessel. You will see. He will begin to use you mightily. Some of you are receiving the deposit of anointing and spiritual gifts even now. This experience is a mighty one for you. It's a mighty one for you. Sister, receive it now. Receive it by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Find them, find them, find them, find them, find them, find them. Holy Ghost. There are two young men. The Lord is putting his hands on you. He said, I want to use you. I want to use you. I want to use you. Some of you, you already know that God wants to use you. 
but your, the kind of life you have been living has not allowed you to become that kind of person you are bound under the yoke and fetters of satan hey there is deliverance going on oh. uh, somebody here you begin to vomit for me substances i command those things that is not inside of you to come out here come out now from the mouth come out from the mouth come out from the mouth come out come out now it's coming out it's coming out it's coming out where are those two young men lord put your hands on them put your hands on them fire 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 on the wind, there is a cross on the cross there is blood for me for me on the wind, there is a cross on the cross there is blood for Oh Jesus on the hill, there is a cross on the cross there is for me you on us not just come please you come. come let me put my hands here. there is a cross you come yes there is blood make way for him for me come let me put it for me on the hill from today as i put my hands on you let the hands of god come upon you as a person lord use it Father, I pray for this one that your hand come upon their life. From today, let their life become something that will bring glory to your name beyond their, ima beyond their imagination. Something drastic happening to them that they never expected or know that is possible. Put your hands on him, Holy Spirit. Activate them in the spirit. Let the yokes fall off of their life. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon them. Use them mightily from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. You can go back. I want to pray for the sick. You are sick. Put your hands at that part of your body. If you are sick here, there is no need to go back. Stay. I want to pray for you possible lay my hands on you no matter the sickness if i say in the name of jesus i want you to shout amen i see a lot of people that is afflicted demonized or you have somebody that is demonized the hand of god is coming on the person in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I want your amen to be loud. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. Every spirit of insanity. 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 It's going now. It's going now. It's going now. It's going now. 
I rebuke every spirit of insanity. I command you to live now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafening spirit, I command you to live now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blinding spirit, I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command pile to disappear. Every growth in any part of your body, every infection, HIV, STD, whatever the name is, I bind you now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Lord is healing people now. Every form of pain, back pain, chest pain, waist pain, heart pain, heart bone, fatigue, weakness, migraine, they are living now. Ulcer is living. Ulcer is gone. Ulcer is living. Ulcer is gone. Broken bones are mended. Check yourself. You can move it. You can move it. Somebody has pain on the left leg. You are being healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody has pain on the right eye. On the right eye. The Lord is healing you now. Somebody has migraine. The Lord is healing you now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the I'm not hearing your amen. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is healing someone of us. Once you notice that the Lord has healed you, run out to this my right hand side quickly. So that I can be able to take your testimony. The Lord is healing someone now. The Lord is healing someone. The Lord is healing someone of throat infection. Throat infection. The Lord is healing you right now. There is somebody that has growth in the body. There is a sister rejoicing. There is Chimobi. Run. Where is Chimobi? Where are you? Find out the testimony. Find out the, te the sister is rejoicing. You see, as if it's a mighty thing. I need to hear it. Jesus Christ. You are healed in the name of Jesus. from this territory and you will link them to within this season 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Such as the Lord has given to me. The flames of revival. The spirit of grace and supplication. <laughs> oh. In 10 minutes, 100 of you will come on that fire, intense fire. It will be very strong. Even if you are a pastor, you go back, you cannot explain what is happening to you and your children. <laughs> you need this thing. You, know. you need it to reduce your level. Stop laboring in the flesh in your plan. Stop laboring. You already have enough tactics. You already have enough system. What you need now is the principal, not principles. The principal, the man himself. The fire from heaven. What happened, Chimobi? That it is a powerful testimony. Okay, there. what happened? She said that she traveled during November. So she now noticed that she matched a poison. She matched poison? Yes, that the hand. Put up the leg. This left leg. Come up, come up. Can you stand? Can you move? Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap, Fruto. Oh. Why, why is Fruto angry? Clap for Jesus. Oh. Hey. She's so excited. She said that she couldn't walk. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk. She had to take a bite from her house to come to this place. But right now, she can jump. She, she could not walk. Oh. She can jump. poison and Jesus took it away she couldn't walk listen to me even if you don't have sickness maybe God called you to be a healing minister one of the ways to prosper in your ministry is, is to keep watching others that are doing it keep watching it keep watching it one day even if you don't know what to do just do this thing I did that's all if 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 he walked if he didn't walk you go back and adjust your reading where didn't I get it well? Then you try again. Keep trying. I prayed for the sick more than 20 times before I saw the first person healed. So I know what I'm saying. You are delivered now. You are Father in the name of Jesus. This deliverance and healing is permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> what happened? What happened, Pastor? Daddy, this my brother said that he had a dream and in that dream that somebody gave him something to drink. What happened? What happened? He said that he had a dream and in that dream somebody gave him something to drink. Okay. And it's like a plastic entered his throat. A plastic? Plastic now, but physically now, somebody gave him a drink and he drank it and something entered his throat. Hmm. And for long, he said that he, he's like, he developed this strong pain on his throat. Throat yes. pain, like an infection, like throat pain. So, yes, so but here he has just noticed that the pain has disappeared. Can you call for Jesus Christ? Come, come, my brother, come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Do like this. <coughs> Do like this. <coughs> Is he still there? Can you call for Jesus? Your healing is coming. What happened? What happened? And he said that you have been having this heaviness of the chest. Heaviness of the chest. And a right knee pain. Right, right knee pain. pain. Since yes. when? Since when? Since three weeks now. Since three weeks. Yes. But he said that right in this place that the pain lifted. Can you clap for Jesus? Come up, come up, come up. What happened? What happened? You to clap for Jesus. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Come, come, like. Lift up your hands. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. What?
what happened? What happened? What happened? That he said that two weeks ago that he fell down from the bike. He and, fell down from the bike. And developed West Pay. West Pay. Yes, but he said right in this place that he checked and the pain was normal there. And he's also believing for his mother who also had the same similar the issue. The same way, similar yes. issue. Yes. As you are healed, your mother is healed in the name of Jesus. Can you clap for Jesus Christ? Listen to me if you are here and there is somebody you have at home that is afflicted, that is waiting for a miracle and a testimony. We release the angels of the living God to go there and infect it. In the name of Jesus. It's permanent. In Jesus' name. What happened? What happened? This is very powerful. What happened? Yes, for six years now, you have been having this eye problem. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. Six years of eye problem. And some of pain, like an ulcer. Six years of eye problem. What can't you do with your eye? What kind of problem? You have itching in the eye for six years. Yes. I can even. Since you came yesterday, it, it has disappeared. Since you came here, it has disappeared. Yes. Futo, what do you do? What do you do? Who did this thing? Uh, Who did this? Uh, What's the second? That the ulcer. Ulcer gone, gone for how days. long? Six years. Jesus Christ. Stop. Both of them have stopped. Since yesterday. Anytime your ulcer stops, it means that you need to fast. <laughs> you need to fast. You want to fast? If I pray for you, you go fast. So. Hey, I they pity this guy now. How many of you, you want to fast, but you are struggling? I pray for you now. Receive the grace to fast in the name of Jesus. You will bring back testimony. They will beg you. You will be fasting. After three days, you will still feel strong. I tell you what I know. I say receive the grace to fast in the name of Jesus. <laughs> fast first. You know what he said? He said, I, I should give him half of my fire. <laughs> Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? That it is my brother. He said he has been having these malaria symptoms for over one week. Now. Okay. He said, but since he came yesterday, he noticed that the thing disappeared, but he couldn't give his testimony. Okay. So it reappeared again, but right here in this place that it has gone. As you are giving your testimony, come, run up, run up, come, come. Your healing is permanent. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. It has gone and never to return again. What happened? Where is Uma Devi? She said for 10 years, for 10 years, she has been having this eye problem. In fact, she wears glasses. But since yesterday, she has... You wear glasses. glasses? Yes. Where is your glasses? In my bag. Come bring your glasses. Go and bring it. I need to believe you. I'm doubting it. I need to see it. In this one, I'm Thomas. In this part, I'm Thomas. I need to see what you do. What happened? Since COVID-19. Yes, one of his nose streets have been blocked. One of his since COVID-19, one of his nose has been blocked. But as you really start that, that it opened and then it's free now. Somebody say Fata. I didn't hear you. Somebody say Fata. Somebody say be open. Somebody said, be open. So it's open now. Which of the nose? Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Bring the sister up. Bring the sister with the glasses up. Come, come. Which of the nose? Which of the nose? This one. So if I close this one now, you can breathe. Can you clap for Jesus? <laughs> your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Let me see your glasses. Jesus, this is thick glasses. Can you see it? Very thick. And it's very special. 
And it seems as if the two of you have been friends for how long? For 10 years. 10 years! 10 years! You are not happy. This is wonder. This is mighty miracle. moment by the power of the Holy Ghost is there anything that has lingered in your life for years five years ten years tonight the power of God does damage to it in the name of Jesus listen listen you need to believe oh, the power of God moves in the direction of faith if you are not sure whether you have faith or not say it in your mouth mostly a man confesses what he believes This your healing is permanent. In the name of Jesus. You are in one level now. 300 level. May the Lord use you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That is, that is a powerful testimony here. What happened? That is, this is her sister was diagnosed of enlargement of the kidney. And she was diagnosed. Come up, come up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Foot of miracles are mighty things are happening. And I, I see angels like a camp. They rounded this campus. They are with weapons, fire. I literally feel it in my hands. I feel it. They are everywhere. And something strange is happening. What happened? What happened? That is, she said right here in this meeting. She's crying. Pains, oh God. The eh? pains. She said she can't find the pains again. The kidney stone disappeared. Again. Kidney stone enlargement disappeared. disappeared right here again. Do you know what she's saying? Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. She couldn't move her body right now. She couldn't move her body. But now you can move, move your body. Let me see. Hey. Jesus name. Wow! 
Now, what happened? She said, as the prayer was going on, she, huh? had, she had this um, throat ache. Okay. As the prayer was going, she said she saw it and then this was going, going and then now. She it has come. Going. Come, your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? What happened? Daddy, this is our brother here. He said he has been having this muzzle cramp for some time now. She, he has been having what? Muzzle cramp. Muzzle, muzzle cramp. cramp. Where? Where? In his biceps. Okay. Uh -huh. But he said that he What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? After praying yesterday night, I went to sleep. But After praying yesterday night, I went to sleep. And then had muzzle cramp. It's in like very very well. I had to like fly by the my house. Uh -huh. Then why the administration was going on so long? Like, the thing got, has gone. Your healing is permanent. Come, 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 come. What happened for the sister? What happened? Daddy, she said that it she is permanent stooling. in the name of Jesus. She huh? been having constant stooling. Okay, she constant like, stooling. Like four times since November, every day, like four times. Hmm. But she said right here in this meeting that she you didn't hear what she said. Since November, every day, four times. Since November, I bind every spirit that is tormenting your life. I arrest that demon now. I bind that spirit. I command it to stop working in the name of Jesus Christ. I cause every altar that is after your life, after your health and your destiny. I command that the fire of God come upon that altar and burn it to ashes in the name of Jesus. I say that you receive your liberation in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing your amen. Receive your liberation in the name of Jesus. Listen, yours might not be healing, but I see mighty deliverance is happening. Great things. If you perceive your own, you can come and join too. What happened? Okay, come, Daddy, come. She said she wanted to check it and be sure that it has stopped. Uh, she checked it today and she noticed that it didn't it has, happen again. Come, come, sister, come, come. Wow. Wow. Clap for Jesus again. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. That is it. He said, by he said, Tyre cut a part, a part of his leg. A, his leg what what, what his cut? Leg, the lower part of his leg. What cut his leg? Tiles, tiles. Tiles, okay. Yes, as in there, he had, had pain there. Okay. As you minister, the pain disappeared. Every pain gone. Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. What's your name? Chijoke. Your healing is permanent, Chijoke, in the name of Jesus. What happened? That is like, God wants to go too fast. He <laughs> said that Osa just left. Somebody said, Futo must fast. Oh. What happened? Also pain disappeared. For how long? Or for how? Since last year. Since when? Last year. Since January last year. January last year. That means it's more than one year. Okay, this year or last year? Last year. That January means it's more than one year. I said he came here with the pain. He came here with the pain. But during the administration, the pain. The thing left. Come, come. Your healing is permanent. What happened? What happened? That it is a, a personal revival. Okay. He said that after your healing is permanent meeting, in the mighty name of Jesus. After yesterday's meeting, he said you went back home and prayed for five good hours. Use him, Jesus. Use him. Use him. What happened? That he said after yesterday's meeting that he went back home and he has been struggling with his personal prayer life. Okay. But yesterday he prayed for five hours after we closed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody struggling with his prayer life. If you know what happened here, the testimony feedbacks people are getting. People that don't have business with praying are praying. A sister said that somebody was just normal like this. Suddenly something jumped into her. And then she started traveling and crying. She wanted to stop. She can't stop. Wanted to stop you. That's 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 revival. You know what is it takes you against your will, it pulls you in and forces you into the move of God. Come, let me touch your head. What happened? And he said he has for over one week now his nose has been blocked. Okay. And then he has been having this terrible migraine. He said he couldn't even come this okay. evening. Okay. But he said right here in this meeting, immediately you pray, the migraine disappeared and his nose opened up. Can you call for Jesus? Come, come. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
What happened? And this my brother here, he said that since today, he could not match his leg on the ground. Okay. He had a pain in his left leg. Okay. But as a minister, that pain is up there. Can you clap for Jesus? Pain, gone, come, come, my brother. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What happened? One week waste pain. One week waste pain. What did you do? Okay. And then you develop waste pain. Now, wow. But it has gone now. Can you clap for Jesus? Come, come. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? What happened? That is this our brother here said that he has been having this jaw pain. Jaw pain. Jaw pain. Yes. But he said immediately you pray that the pain disappears. Can you clap for Jesus? Jaw pain gone. Your healing is permanent. What's your name, brother? Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is, our brother was following online yesterday. Okay. And he said that he has been having these satanic voices. He said that satanic pain, what? Voices. Voices. Okay. You remember yesterday you made pronouncement concerning that. He said he fell from the seat where he was watching was, online. Watching online. And he said, let, let me hear you. I was going wear my glasses when I was watching the program online. Okay. Then when that declared against satanic voices, okay. The power of God hit him. Okay. Okay. Watching online, fell from the chair, started speaking in tongues, and the voice is left. Your waist, I serious pain. Yes. Can you clap for Jesus Christ? to see visions but in the year 2022 when he tried to see vision they used catapult they used stone on his eye <laughs> they used stone and we put Jesus <laughs> I pray for you in the name of Jesus they will not remove your eye in the name of Jesus Christ if you like don't say amen some of you you don't dream you don't know anything your life will just be going Satan will want to kill you you won't know nothing you don't be falling into traps all kinds of stuff. So what happened? Said, but as a minister, he felt that his eye had been restored. You, you felt. I, I told God that I will leave him to you. He restores everything. Yes. So that is a feeling I used to have there. Yes. Yes. Can you call for Jesus? That's the spirit. You can't just go and tell him to give you something. Come. at my eyes you will see more clearly what happened that is she said why you prayed you made a pronouncement that we should pummel our enemies she said she saw a vision where her family were kept in a prison okay and immediately you made a pronouncement that the key broke and then all the people in that prison started coming out. Can you call for Jesus? Come. That deliverance is permanent. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am the one that said it. Power! What happened? What happened? That is this her sister. She said that she had been stammering. She was, she was very strong. She is stammering? Yes. I need to hear this one. Bring her up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Augustine, where are you? Strike it, strike it, strike it, strike, 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 strike,
the pain disappeared and her tongue got loose. If you want to clap, 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 clap. That's like a dumb spirit that left. That's like muteness, a dumb spirit left. How do we prove this thing now? In Anuko, you want to do you hear? Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For healing me. For healing me. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Mighty things are happening. What happened? What happened? Man of God. Daddy, she had a she went to the hospital and the hospital, the doctor diagnosed of um, a leg infection. Okay. Then, and then she said her leg had been pain and she can't walk well. He said this girl used to help her to fetch water in her lord. Okay. Even today she felt the pain. Okay. But when you mean that that pain appeared and then she said she can have joy. No, no, no. We need to see this one. Come on, come on. Hey, look at her leg. Jesus. Sisters, come, let's see it. For how long now? For how long? For a month, for a month, for a month now. I've been having to suffer on my leg. My leg is swollen. I can't have a And you went to hospital. Bring the mic so that I can hear her. I was diagnosed of leg infection. Okay. For a month now, I've been having to suffer on my leg. And somebody is helping you. Yes, they helped me. My friends were having to touch one now. But even this morning, I was having pain on my leg. But right now, I can jump. I can walk. Oh, yeah, jump. Let me see. Jump. <laughs> If you want to clap, clap! Oh. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. A hole in the heart, okay. Who has gone for the first heart transplant and it was not successful, okay. But she said, Why did we are praying for the sick? She placed him on a call because okay. he's supposed to fly in for another operation tomorrow morning, okay. And now that the guy told him that he was feeling this sensation, this body sensation all over his body as the prayer was going on, and she's trusting God that the healing has that healing is perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. That bony sensation is the hand of God. They are reconstructing his inside. Body parts are being fixed back. Huh? Master soldiers from heaven. They are doing all kinds of things, rearranging it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, is any of your member, any of your friend or family afflicted because you are here? Let that person be healed and delivered in the name of Jesus. What happened? What happened? Pain in the right eye destroyed by the hand of the Lord. Pain in the right eye. What kind of pain? But it has gone. Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? She says since yesterday she has been having this general body pain and headache. Okay. So, but she said right here in this meeting that she can shake all the parts of her body. That shake, was shake like this. Shake like. All of them we are paining you, but you can shake them now. Can you clap for Jesus? Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? My brother also said he has been delivered from sexual addiction. Sexual addiction? And then God has restored his hunger and his fire. This is the kind of testimony I want to hear. Good sir. Go and lay hands on him. Cry out to his spirit and command him to pray. Command it to receive body. Command it to come up. Every place that the soul descended to, command it to come up from the abyss. Come up! What happened? That it is a powerful testimony. Yeah. He okay. said for more than one year now, he doesn't hear with his left ear. Ah! Oh, for yeah. more than one year, you don't hear with. Come up, come, come. Come, come, come. For more than one year. Justice. For more than one year, he couldn't hear with the hear with the left ear. This one, am I correct? But what happened now? He said that right here in this meeting where you pray, that you notice that the, the thing opened uh. and he has tried it and apostle tried it and he is now here. Which one can you hear with before? 
Huh? Close it well. Close it well. Come on, son. Put the mic in his mouth. Just say what I said. One. Wait, wait, wait. Five. Five. God. God. Can you clap for Jesus? <laughs> clap for Jesus! Your healing is permanent. Home, but she's still in the session. And then she was still praying. Uh -huh. And even when she slept, she was still praying her sleep. Uh -uh. But she now came Wait. She went home, and even though she has gone home, she was still in the session. She was sleeping. Even though she was sleeping, she was still praying. I want to be like that. I want to pray always. The Bible said, Listen to me. The Bible said, Pray without ceasing. And they told us that what it means is uh, if you pray, you take break, don't stop. Them. Well, whatever you say it means. But if somebody can pray in his sleep and wake up and keep praying, it means that the prayer did not stop. Is it not true? Whatever you believe in this kingdom, the way you believe is the way it will happen for you. If you say, eh, my prayer is five, five minutes, it's five, five minutes for you. Me, I pray always. I, if I'm Mr. Ray. So what happened now? Okay. Okay. But as you minister, that's how the pain and everything disappears. Come, you are healed and your fire is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? That he said that one week ago that he was praying and something attacked him and first hand inside his mouth to eat. Uh -uh. Something attacked him and first hand. Ant. Ant. Inside his body. Like ant. I hope like ant. Yes. Are you an evil man? Put ant in your mouth to shop. Some of you don't shop in the dream. Woke up with small stomach. The, sick, the secret to your big stomach and small stomach and all that they gave you, you shop and then woke up. You cannot understand yourself anymore. So what happened? That he said that while he was praying there, uh, that he noticed that immediately you make some proclamation, that he started, his stomach started rumbling okay. and he vomited something. He vomited, Abi. Yeah, he vomited. Yes, yes. And then he became free. Can you clap for Jesus? Come, come, come. Your deliverance is permanent. Stand in. Lift your hands. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Lucy, Lucy. What happened? That is pain on the ankles for six years now. Pain on the ankles. Yes, Which of the ankles? Right ankle. The right ankle for he six said, years. Disappear by the power of the Lord. Can you call for Jesus? Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. What happened? I did my brother. I said he lost his voice for, for some time now. You lost your voice for some time now. But now, as you pray, the voice go And then he said also that he has been feeling this internal pain over his body. Uh, but as you minister, that everything All of them has gone. gone. Come, can you clap for Jesus? Futo, clap for Jesus. Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? My brother Joshua, he said that he had heart issues, heart pain. Okay. Chest pain. Okay. But as a minister, the chest pain disappeared. Can you clap for Jesus? Can you clap for Jesus? Come, let me put my hands on you. Your healing is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What happened? What happened? That is, she, he said for 20 years now, in fact, since he was born, uh, that he, he has kata. Okay. But he said I don't that right understand. I don't, I don't understand. What kind of kata is that one? Since 20 years. But what happened? He said right here in this meeting, he, had, he noticed that after he made the prayer, he noticed, he checked himself if the kata will come out. What are the things you normally happen before you be doing like this? Do you, 
Okay, during cold weather, okay. the heating is more intense. Okay. But normal dry season, I will uh, be having small, small cutter. Uh, I wake up in the morning, I'll blow cutter. Uh, then during the day, I'll just be having cough cutter or this cough cutter. Oh, wow. Coming out every time. Uh, but now, where is it now? Blow, blow, blow. He is trying to bring it. He is trying to summon the kata. But the kata can no more be summoned. <laughs> come, 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 come. What is your name? Joshua. Joshua. Ah, my name is Joshua too. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened? And then my brother here, he said that after yesterday's program, he went home. Uh, and after eating, he started becoming sick. To the point that he was vomiting throughout the night. He okay. Okay. But he told God that, God, I want to be in this program today. Okay. That's how he came here and then he stood His healing has come. Come, come, come. Are you sure God is not saying you should fast? What do you think? When did you fast last? What kind of fast? Sister what? Sister what? Six. Twelve. You will fast sister six. You will not die. I assure you, you won't die. Hmm? Hmm. If fasting did not kill me, it won't kill you. Come, come. Stop running, come. So this man must fast. At least he will start with six to six. Fast. What happened? I want to take three more. That he said that he has been having this severe back pain since he came to this meeting. But he said right here this night that the pain has disappeared. Can you clap for Jesus? Come, come. The healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Listen to me. If you are still here, just lift up your hands. I will not want you to stand behind me. So will it be okay if you just go back a little? So you will not stand behind me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, such as I have, I give to these ones. The spirit of grace and supplication, even raise intercessors amongst us. The flames of revival coming upon the lives of men and women in this place. Angels bearing torch in their hands all over this field, all over, all over, all over, all over, all over. He's coming at the count of seven. The hand of God will begin to come upon you, prophetic intercessors. Flames of revival will begin to fall upon your lives. Everywhere, everywhere you are, everywhere you are right now. One, two, three. Holy Ghost, find them, find them, find them, find them, find them. Such as I have, I give to you. Flames! Find them now. Holy Ghost, find them, find them, find them, find them. He's burning. 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 Flames. Flames. We are the prophetic intercessors. My God, my God, raise them now. Raise them. Give them weapons. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's coming on you. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. By fire. He's coming. By fire, it's coming by fire, it's coming by fire, it's coming by fire, it's coming by fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Join me in sound in the next two minutes. Find them, Holy Ghost. It's coming upon you now. It's coming upon you. Stronger, stronger. Find them all over this field. Holy Ghost, find them by power, by power, by power, by power. Holy Ghost! Prophetic in 
intercessors. Prophetic intercessors. Prophetic intercessors. Prophetic intercessors. That's it. That's it. That's it. Stronger. 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 Help that lady. Help that lady there. Why are you running away, young man? Everywhere on this field, angels are scattered everywhere. There is a new army rising. There is a new army rising. Let the flames find them. Let the flames find them. Let the flames find them. Find them! Help that young man. Help that young man. My God. My God. My God. My God. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You will leave this place with flames burning, flames of revival. Unquenchable hunger. Where are the intercessors here? Holy Spirit, help me and find them. Where are the intercessors? Help me and find them. Where are the intercessors? Help me and find them. 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 Holy Ghost. Help me and find them, Holy Ghost. Help me and find them. 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 Christ. Let the flames find those intercessors. Find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. Where are the intercessors here? Find them, Holy Ghost. Find them. 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 Holy Ghost. There are a few verses more that the Lord is looking for. Once I find them, I will go. Father, in the name of Jesus, help me and find those vessels. Help me and find them. Where are they? Help me and find them. 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 Holy Ghost. Help me and find them. 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 By fire. Angels, move now. Move now. Find them. Find them. Find them, find them, find them, find them, find them. Find them. With weapons in their hand, find them. With flames in their tongue, find them. 
Find them. Feed your vessel. Find them. Spirit of the living God. Find them. Find them. We are there. Find them. We are there. Find them. We are there. Find them. 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 Help the sister. Fruto. The Lord bless your worry. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life. Whatever be your struggle in your academics, in your finances, in your life. From today, let the Lord bring an intervention to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear your amen. Let the Lord bring intervention to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Fruto, you are blessed. Let's see next time. Brother, please just wait behind so they can help us to take the seat back to the different places where we brought them. Please, brother, just wait behind. Brother, wait behind. Wait behind. God bless you.
Fancy me 